Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. In today's video in Azure, I will show you how to configure application gateway, which is a layer seven load balancer working at the application level. So let's start from your create a resource. You can just type in application gateway. Pick the first option. Uh, you get a brief summary about this uh, product and uh, then we have to configure three step basic settings and summary just start by giving a name for this i'm going to name it its application gateway Under the tier, you can choose from standard or WAF, which is a web application firewall. And now they also have the standard version 2 and WAF version 2, which is in preview. For this demonstration, I will use the standard. I'll have instance count 2 because at least you need two instances in the backend pool. So that's okay with me. The SQ size, I can either choose from small, medium, and large. Uh, just to show you, if you go to the pricing calculator, under the tier, you have the option to choose from basic and uh, web application firewall. Basic has three sizes available, small, medium, and large. Small doesn't have the functionality of uh, uh, web application firewall, uh, which is one of the features within application gateway. But if you choose medium and large, you can apply the WAF uh, feature. And then you are also charged on the amount of data which is processed. When you pick small and medium, there is a charge for that. But if you pick the large, there's no charge for data processing for the large instances. And uh, when you go to the web application firewall tier, you have uh, two options to choose from medium and large. And uh, very similar to the previous option, large doesn't have the charge for data processing for large instance. And you can get more information by going into the pricing detail and you have all uh, this explained uh, that you can see that you have small, medium, and large are in the first tier and uh, large, as you can see that uh, uh, data process is not charged. Small doesn't have the WAF option. And uh, similarly, you also have the WAF tier too. So you can go through this uh, documentation, which is available uh, on the Azure pricing calculator page. Something to think about when you are trying to price out this uh, functionality within within Azure. But what we'll do is that uh, we'll keep it simple. We'll use the standard and I will use the SQ size, which is small, which is designed for the test and dev kind of environment. And since I don't have a resource group, I'll create new. And I'll deploy this in Canada Central, go OK. And now under settings, I need to choose the virtual network. Now, if you don't have one, you can go and click on create new. Here, you'll uh, give the name, address space if you want to deploy this gateway within specific uh, address space, you can uh, specify over here. And for the subnet also, you'll give the name. I'll change it and rest everything. I'll leave that to the default and go to OK. And the front end IP configuration, I'll keep it public and uh, it will ask you to ch choose the name. I will again use this to the default and rest everything. I will uh, just leave the default configuration. If you want, you can also give the DNS name level here. And uh, I'll keep the port HTTP. If you want, you can also uh, do it on the 443, but I will leave this to HTTP, which is on the default and go to OK. You get a brief summary of the selections that we have made, starting with the name uh, of our uh, uh, application gateway, which is ITS application gateway. The tier is standard, SQ size is small, instance count is two, the subscription, the name of the resource group and the location for this. And then the settings, it will give me the virtual network name, the subnet name, the public IP, and uh, if you have enabled the SSL or secured socket layer for listener or the firewall status, which in our case, we have not enabled the WAF feature, 
uh, which is okay for this demonstration and you go to okay so you can see that the deployment is in progress if I want to see the progress I can go for the and drill down what is happening behind the scene within Azure region which is Canada Central in my case and you will see that uh, this uh, activity will go on for at least 10 to 15 minutes so I just don't want you to see this configuration going so what I will do is I'll pause the video and once this deployment has been deployed I will uh, restart welcome back so as you can see that uh, application gateway deployment is successful and uh, I'm under the resource group and you have the virtual network which was Egypt GW resource group ITS Egypt GW is the name of the application gateway and we also get the public IP address so the one thing that I want to do is I will go inside the virtual network and if you go see under settings I have subnets I can go and add a subnet and I'll give the name uh, for this which is going to be ITS backend subnet if you want to give a specific address range you can give but I'll leave that to the default so the idea is basically in this uh, backend subnet I will add my uh, two web servers uh, so that we can route the traffic accordingly and you can leave everything else to the default and go to OK The subnet was added successfully so another thing I just want to show you is uh, under the application gateway if you see under the backend pool I don't have any uh, any target right now but in my next video I will add uh, two web server within this backend pool so in this video you saw how to uh, add an application gateway within your Azure subscription I hope you like this video thanks for watching have a good day